Hi there guys, in this video I'm going to be testing a new filament which I've just had delivered from Amazon. So far I've only used one brand of filament and this one I have ordered three rolls of from G-Tech. And first of all, opening the package as you can see it was bashed out a bit in, in the post as is not uncommon for anybody who gets things delivered by post. So I was very pleased to see that it was very well packaged, lots of padding and very well packaged in individual little boxes with a little window so you can see what, uh, what the filament colour is. And inside the package we have got nice vacuum sealed bags as well. So, so far it's a good start. And uh, Ordinarily, I wouldn't bother with the sort of unboxing bit, but I just uh, I just wanted to make a point of of how well packaged it is. So it's a good start. So what I'm going to do now is load up these filaments um, one by one. I'm going to print a temp tower for each to assess the best most suitable temperature for printing, and then I am going to print a Marvin with each so I've got a, 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 an equal comparison of each compared to the filament that I currently use and, uh, and then I'm going to pick a model to print with each one so we'll be back in a moment. So just to recap on this uh, due to a slight uh, technical problem with the sound um, i.e. me being a dumbass and forgetting to plug in the microphone um, the temp tower is printed so you test visually to see which looks the best, which is the smoothest, which gives the best bridging and so on. And then you will do a destruction test by peeling the layers and actually pressing them and see how well adhered they are. And this gives you the best balance overall of which is the, the best setting to pick. I'm thinking these are the top two layers which there was some stringing on so they were going to be discounted anyway. Uh, just due to that. And looking at this I'm, I'm thinking the best temperatures are likely to be between 200 and 210. So I'll go ahead and actually give these um, a, a squeeze test and see how strong they are, how well adhered they are. Once I've got that, I'm going to slice a Marvin figure, print a Marvin figure. I'll do exactly the same with the other two filaments, which are a green and a yellow, all from G-Tech. And, uh, and then I will be picking a print for each one. I'll show you the other two filaments as we get to that. The print I'm going to be printing with the silver PLA is a bender folding robot because it's silver and bender's a silver robot, so or silvery grey kind of colour, so it's, it's an ideal colour to do that. So we'll be back in a moment. We did the test, the temp tower, we did the Marvin, you can see there. And um, we've done... This is the Bender robot completed. Unfortunately, as you can see, we've had a little bit of a disaster um, high up on the print and we've lost one of the arms. It's actually come away from the bit where it's, it's molded in. Other than that, it looks to have printed really, really well. So what we're gonna do next is um, take this off the board. This is adhered really well to the board and it's very, very flat as well. So having done the silver filament, we've now set up the yellow, which is a nice vibrant yellow as you can see on there. And uh, we're just in the process of printing the temp tower for that. So temp tower for that and then another Marvin to join these. And then I will do a test print of something, of what I'm not sure just at the moment, but something. And so the next one that we're moving on to is the green. This is a nice vibrant green, which I'll just get a, a close up of. And um, it's, it's a great color, this very, very bright. I do like the color. So we're starting with the green filament and printing a temp tower as we've done for the previous two. And then we will be doing another Marvin to join these little fellas right over here. As you can see down here on the bench, we have the four Marvins. We also have a little um, scalpel blade handle um, for a Swan Morton blade, which I've actually made for a friend, where it's going to be sent to a friend when I've got a couple more bits and pieces to send on. And that's from the green filament as well. And this makes a nice little flexible but sturdy uh, scalpel blade handle very much like this one here that's printed in white 
a while ago. So um, that makes quite a nice nice little thing. Um, as you can see here, we've got the, the Marvins, and this is the white one, the original one, or my original filament rather, and then the silver one here. And the first thing that you notice is the, the silver seems to be a little bit more pronounced with regards to layer lines. But in fact, when you look up close, it's just that they're more evident in the silver filament. They're not actually any more pronounced. The quality of the print is much the same. If you look at the, the overhangs underneath between the feet, they're pretty much the same. And if you look at the pattern on the top, again, pretty much the same. And while initial impressions make you sort of go, well, you know, they're more noticeable on the silver one. They are more noticeable, but that's only because of the color of the filament. When you look up close, they are very much the same indeed. And the same goes for the yellow and the green, very much the same. Um, nice, whoops, nice smooth quality. And uh, the same kind of oh, fumbling around with these here, the same underneath the overhangs in between the feet at the bottom and uh, underneath the, the ears and then the sort of above the eyes there and what have you. These are printed with no supports. Um, it's just a generic sort of little keychain test print thing. And you'll note that uh, Neris always does a Marvin as, a, as an initial test print on his videos when he sets up a new printer. You can really see the sort of satiny shimmery effect of the yellow and the green filament, which I think is really, really nice. These are, are really, really pretty colours. They, they're the ideal kind of things that to, to print something that you're just going to have on display. And because I was so pleased with how they printed, I made this incredibly awesome uh, Wolverine v Deadpool statue, which I need to print a base to yet. And I'm just going to zoom out so you can see that in better detail. So far we have this in two parts, the, um, the upper body and the legs, and we've got Wolverine who has um, pinioned Deadpool with his claws and, he, and is lifting him physically up off the ground while, uh, while Deadpool is, is, whoops, is stabbing Wolverine with one of his katanas and, uh, and pointing his gun at his head as you can see there it's a, a cool cool statue uh, it looks great as it is this is obviously going to be painted but this was, um, this was just a bit of curiosity thing I wanted to see how well it would print something larger and at a finer scale this was at 0.12 mil layer height with supports and all I've done with both of these so far is literally just take the supports off it needs a little bit of clean up say around the back of the boots there because the legs were printed that way up so it's got a little bit of support under here and uh, and this this had support all inside here and all around here the support came away very very cleanly so i was really pleased with that and then these two will need to be glued together there's a few more parts to to build to this yet but very very cool model that uh, wolverine v deadpool i like that one and we're just going to fold the the bender robot and uh, and do that well i'll just mention as well that you'll note the arms or the fingers rather of the bender didn't print that's absolutely nothing to do with the filament whatsoever that's entirely my own fault because instead of using a raft as recommended i used a brim which worked fine on the k9 which you'll have seen in my previous video but on this one what happened because it prints flat like so as it was printing it's it knocked the the supports which are these this bit that's popped off here as you can see that sticks to the bed and it obviously knocked the arm and uh, and it just sort of ended up flopping around like so it finished printing a finger on one of the fingers on this hand but um, only a little bit of one on this hand and obviously the nozzle caught and, and knocked that so as a result we ended up with a loose arm like so which is entirely as I say my own fault and no fault of the filament whatsoever so ignoring that I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to fold up the bender robot these are great fun little uh, prints incidentally and there's a, a bender robot there's a canine from doctor who there's a dalek there's um i forget what the others are but there are a few others as well and they're great fun little prints these and 
if I can get this to click in. There we go. And obviously, under normal circumstances, you would have a, a bender with a rotating head and with, um, with two working arms rather than just the one like we've got here. But we have got a little door that opens on the front. One of the things I like about this silver filament is, hopefully you can see there, is the difference in the texture and shading of the silver filament that you get because uh, this was laid flat and this was printed upright like so. Because the layers are going in a different direction it gives a different, a different kind of effect. So we've got um, a foldable bender robot in the silver PLA which is is very very nice. It print, I printed this at 200 degrees and looking at the way the layers have laid down I think I would probably print just a little bit hotter about 205 because it looks like the layers could have done could have flattened a little bit more so because my standard filament I print at 200 I kind of I kind of figured about the same for this one after the temp tower but I think it would work better at about 205 and then on this one the bender and this yellow filament were both printed at a 0.2 mil layer height and they both printed very very nicely with uh, with no obvious problems as you can see on the upright sections and what have you. The one thing I did notice about the yellow PLA, uh, both both the yellow and the green are, are kind of a little bit kind of shimmery. It's it's a nice sort of uh, shimmery um, finish, which would suit uh, items that you just wanted to print for display that didn't require any finishing or painting. It's a lovely finish. It's sort of very satiny, shimmery and very nice. The one thing I did notice about the yellow over the green particularly is that the yellow is a little more translucent. But that does kind of make sense because yellow is a very pale colour and like yellow paint, which takes several layers to, to cover, um, obviously yellow plastic is going to be a bit more translucent so it's a little bit more translucent and you can actually see the infill pattern through that so it's something to bear in mind and it's something that's easily rectifiable by just adding more more base layers and more top layers if it's something that would bother you you can just add a couple more top layers and you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't even notice that to be honest the green is not so visible but you can just about see the infill but obviously it's a darker colour but both very similar finishes both printed beautifully really really pleased with how these two printed in particular and I was quite pleased with the silver and I think what I will do is print another one uh, in the silver but I'll print it with a slightly hotter temperature but all in all I'm absolutely delighted with this filament I think it's a, it's a beautiful filament it prints really really well it was incredibly easy to swap over uh, the the reels are they're nicely packaged, vacuum packed with um, with silica gel bags, and um, very very well behaved filament. Absolutely delighted, and I will definitely be glad to use some more of this. So that's my review on the G Tech uh, filament. The links of which you will find below here, and I hope you found this useful. And thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.